Hi, uh, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing some single tree tarp setups. It could be a pole, a tree, walking pole, stick. We're going to just use one tree and do some tarp configurations. So let's have a look. The first one's going to be the flying diamond. My tarp is configured for a quick um, deploy for a ridge line, but it doesn't matter. It's just that my cords are on there. So what we're going to do is pull my tarp out. All I want is one corner at the moment. And I've got one there. So I'm just going to drop the bag. Release this cordage I've got on there. And then we're going to start nice and high, I think. And then we can look at the different configurations. I'm just going to do an event hitch, Siberian hitch. Try and get it so it's not around its own knot. Now that'll hold up there. Then all we have to do is pull it back and peg it on the corner. Corner to corner, give you that diamond. Now, if you've got wind, blowing you can obviously put the back of this into the wind so your wind would always be coming from the back so with a single pole or tree if you can move it right around that's the idea then you've got the um the windbreak i've never used this configuration when i've been out but i just want to set it up that's what it's like and to show you guys just remember, anywhere you peg a peg, you can always adjust it later, so it doesn't matter that it's not in the right tautness and you haven't got your tension at first. But this is fairly quick to get up. And the good thing about it, if the weather turns, you've got to shelter quite quick. Got a lot of flint around there. We've always had trouble getting the pegs in up this end. But let's have a look in it. I've brought a ground sheet with me as well. So we can throw a ground sheet in. Let's move you over there. Let's clear some of the debris. And there's a ground sheet set up. So I'm in, in a shelter. I've got quite a lot of room above me and I've got quite a lot behind me. So if you've got kit where you're sleeping, like, like at night, you can tuck right down in there. The only negative I'd say for this shelter is um, you're exposed to this end. And it's not a negative in the way of you just expose. It's a negative in the way of the wind turns. If the wind turns, you've got to turn your whole shelter or you pull up with it. And if it's raining, it's going to blow all that rain into you. But the benefit again of this shelter is you can build a small fire, and I mean small, or have a cooker or a cook system, because you've got all this cover above you. And normally rain will fall down unless it's blowing a gale. Then this isn't the best shelter for a gale, but it's fun. It's fun if you've got the kids and you want to go out and put a shelter up, they'd love this. I say you've got so much room, I'm going to bring you in and show you it. You've got so much room inside. Let's get you in there, shove you in. I mean, it's, it's a big area. 
It's a big area, seriously, it's a big area. And this is a three by three tarp, so it's about a 10 foot by 10 foot. I've got a four metre one. And that would make an even bigger area because even though it's a meter bigger, the actual whole size of it is a lot more than that. It's not just a meter, it's a lot bigger. So that's the first one. Let's find, um, so you've got a walking pole as well. We can probably bring up, bring up the back a bit. So I don't know about closing this in. Let's have a look at doing some configuration of closing it in, because I say this is my first time of doing this. So we're all learning together. I don't pre-plan my videos and come out and make them like I've already done it so I know what I'm doing. Because that ain't the real world, is it? It's the real world, you're out there. You've got to do these things on the fly sometimes. So when you're on the fly, you just got to get it done. And seeing it on YouTube, you'll think, well, that doesn't look difficult because it isn't, honestly. I'm going to move this peg and see what it's like if I try and make it smaller so I wanted a smaller shelter take that side in do the same here and then we'll see what we end up with let's have a look yeah it is this one can bring that under. See that? That's for one man now. That's actually quite a steeper roof on it. So if it rains, you know it's going to definitely run off. And if it snowed, you know it's going to come off. But it's an open shelter for snow, so it's not ideal. And then if you haven't got a big ground sheet, this you've pulled in your sides a bit and you can put down what you have got. One person could lie in there easy, easy, really easily. Let's have a look around it. The wind had just cut over that. Easy. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it smaller and um, for one man to sleep in with the top creating a ground sheet for you. Let's do that. Right, I'm going to make this lower. All you do to undo this knot is pull it and it'll undo. So I'm going to bring it down to about there, I'd say. And then I'm going to bring these in to here. on both sides so this is a one man low profile shelter I mean imagine you're in the daytime you've come out you've had to rack a shelter up you can keep all your gear in it while you do this adjustment because your gear will be undercover Put my eye out. So it's just you sleeping. This is fantastic shelter. Let's have a look in it. No ground sheet needed. You've got your own ground sheet. If you've got something else you can use like a walking pole, we might be able to lift that middle up a bit. What we want to try and do, perhaps, is raise that or make that tighter. Let's do the tighter option first and see what that does. Yeah, just tighten this up. One man shelter. Done. No rain's getting in there unless it's blowing in there. And the ground sheet with it, so. There you go, it's the Flying Diamond with ground sheet built in, low profile one man, and gear. You can easily stick your rucksack 
just there, stood out of the rain, and it'll protect you and give you a pillow, depends how big your rucksack is, protect any sort of breezes coming at you. So, one man configuration done. Tick that one off. This has been my first, and I like to experiment. I like to watch people's videos, but then I think, what else can I do with that? It's not just about the big diamond, because that just feels too airy, too windy. When you can configure it down, especially if you've got a DD tarp or you've got a tarp with eyelets on it, you can um, peg it out in different configurations. I'm just thinking, is there a better or a different peg out system I can use to close that front in? I'm going to mess about and see if I can find something. And then if I do, we'll put it in. Right, I've just altered that. So now we've got it coming off on a ridgeline configuration. Let's have a look. And I've brought it away from the tree a bit. So it's away from the tree, it's going down its ridge line and then pegging out. So it's the same sort of similar shape, but you've got a different way that this um, comes down. It comes down at an angle this way now, instead of having the uh, cover more over the top. So this is just like a straight ridge line configuration. And then the tarp itself will fold on itself inside and give you that much room in cover. Doesn't look a lot when you look on the video, but that's quite um, long. So that is at least to the bottom six foot. But then if you have got a tarp, like, um, you can throw a tarp in there, to give you that extra piece you need. But that is the, um, the nature of it, I suppose, what it is. Not too bad, quick and easy to do. You need one, two, three pegs, a pole or a tree, and some um, paracord. That's all it's needed to run this. So I hope it helps someone and they're interested in doing this sort of setup. Especially the giant D, the flying D, is great if you've got the kids because it feels like they're camping and you've just got a nice shelter. It's a good wind blocker as well. Even if it's not raining, it's just windy. Don't forget these shelters will block that wind out. Especially if you're trying to cook or you're trying to just chill it out of the wind. I was just going to say, trees are turning now. It's coming into autumn and the trees are starting to change. Everything's changing. Ground's wet all the time. So it'd be nice if I could get you up there in a canopy and let you have a look. Let's see if I can get you up there. Hang on a second, I was going to throw you up. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. See you next time.